What's up my hunting brothers and sisters? Today we're going to take a look at a cool new product from Ultimator, their Bullet Retriever. This is a slick little device that'll help you when you drop something from an elevated position when you're out hunting. So stay tuned. So today we're gonna check out a new product from the company called Ultimator. Now, if you've been following along with my channel, I've done a couple reviews on different Ultimator things. I have no official affiliation with the company Ultimator, uh, but John, who owns Ultimator, he's reached out to me on several new projects, picking my brain, see what I thought about him when he was coming up with the concepts and some of his prototypes. And then he sent me a couple products, you know, to review. So. Anyways, uh, he's got an exciting product that he's launching. It's going to be in time for the Mobile Hunter Expo in Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's coming up the last weekend of August 2023. And this is his bullet retriever. Uh, so basically what this device is, is if you drop something out of your tree stand, uh, any elevated position, uh, you can send this down and, and you can retrieve, hopefully, you know, a code or a release, but then climb down and, and deal with that and interrupt your hunt. So he sent this to me the other day. These are not available yet for purchase. Uh, but again, that last weekend of August, uh, 2023, these are going to be available at the Mobile Hunter Expo. And as far as I understand, on his website as well. So uh, you can check out his website, just Google Ultimator. Uh, a little bit about Ultimator real quick. He started out making uh, aiders for um, sticks, for climbing sticks a flexible step and then he's branched off to several other cool things i recently did a bow hanger review uh, that he came out with but again enough of that this is the bullet retriever uh, i came in this little black box now if you've watched any of my reviews i say this all the time i'm a sucker for nice packaging i'm a firm believer if a company is going to spend the money on a nice package then typically what is inside is a nice product. Again, go back to the old iPhone experience. People got more excited about the box, I think, than they did the actual iPhone. So great looking packaging here uh, with his branding on this thing. Uh, it just looks outstanding. Uh, it's got a slide uh, catch here. You pull this thing out and it slides out really smoothly. Very nice, he's got a uh, instruction and line card in there. Again, just a, a really nice packaging. Are you going to throw it away? Probably, but again, it's an indicator of my, my experience as to the quality of the product inside. So toss the box so here aside. We got a line card in here. Uh, the line card tells you about the product uh, and how to use it. Uh, basically, it's all aluminum construction. Uh, it's got four arms that you can do as a grappler hook type of thing to retrieve something. It's orange anodized so you can see it. And it's got a magnet on the bottom of it, which is pretty cool. So we're going to check that out. So in here, you can see it comes nicely packaged in the foam. Again, on that packaging thing, I'm a sucker for it. It's very nice. Uh, let me pull it out here. And toss the box down. Here you can see this is the bullet retriever. Obviously you can see why it gets its name. It's got a bullet shape to it. Um, it's got a little loop here that you can attach some sort of line to. Um, I will probably put some Dynaglide on this and then I could maybe wind the Dynaglide around this or use his little spool retriever. I think that would be a nice little way to keep this thing very compact in your pocket. But as you can see, this thing is fairly tiny. I measured it. Uh, before I came out here and it's approximately three inches from the bottom to the very top, maybe three and an eighth, but right around three inches. Uh, the bullet width here is roughly three quarters of an inch and the widest point would be on these prongs that stick out here for the arms, I'll show you in a second, that's about an inch. So you're talking really something that's about three inches by three quarters of an inch in size, essentially. So, I mean, slide right in your pocket, you know, you never even really know it's there. It doesn't take up any space. As far as how much it weighs, right here, I put it on the little scales and my scales uh, that I use for my archery stuff said it was 1.88 ounces. So less than two ounces is uh, what this thing weighs. So it's super light. Uh, as you can see, uh, you know, the orange color, easy to see in a bag or a pack. If you drop it on the ground, you know, when you're going through your pack on the ground, that orange obviously is easier to identify. So I do like that, it's pretty cool. 
Uh, this thing on the bottom, before we get into the arms, there's a magnet here on the bottom. So you could use this magnet if you ran a cord through here, you could lower this down and anything that's got uh, this magnetic, you know, ferrous, you can pick it up. So releases, uh, you know, a bolt on a release can be enough to pick it up. I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Uh, your arrows, whatever. So that that is a great addition to something like this. I've not seen this in that in a retrieval device. There's grappling hook styles. But having that magnet on there, that's, that's a pretty slick setup. As far as how this thing works, you've got an O-ring in here and you've got three uh, machine notches, one the O-ring's in right now. So you literally roll this O-ring up to the top notch like this, okay? And when you do that, four arms fold out. Those would be your grappling hooks. Now in this state, you know, they can just, they can flop around, but if you want to make them so they can stay open, you roll that O-ring all the way down and there's a bottom groove down here and you get it down in here. And now when you work it down in there, now those arms have to stay out. Okay, so now here you're in your grappling hook formation. So very, uh, uh, in, ingenious in the way he came up with these different things here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to temper, I'm just going to throw some paracord through this real quick and I'm going to show you how it picks up a few odds and ends. So just a second, let me throw some paracord on and we're going to get to picking up a few odds and ends that we would pop, possibly drop when we're hunting. All right, so I just looped some paracord through it. Again, I would probably use Dynaglide because it's a smaller line, very strong, lightweight. I like it, uh, but you know, you're gonna put whatever you want on there, put 20, 25, 30 feet on, depending on how high you hunt, wind it up and you got it. So you would lower this down. I'm just gonna leave the grappling hooks out right now, but we're gonna test out the magnet. Uh, here's a, an old wrist release that I dug out in, of my uh, old archery equipment drawer. And you know, on these, there's typically something ferrous that you could, uh, you know, you could get the magnet to stick to, but you can see there, I mean, this is aluminum, um, you know, the shaft on it's aluminum, but the buckle here or the uh, base where it ties into the wrap is, is ferrous. So that magnet's picking it up and I can hoist that thing clear back up to the tree and boom, I've got it. Um, I got my thumb release. This is one I hunt with. It's made by Hot Shot Archery and it's mostly aluminum and stainless steel. However, the one, there are some bolts on it and the one uh, thumb extension part is ferrous. And you can see, boom, if I dropped that release, which knock on wood, I've never done, but now I've got a way to get it up and I don't have to worry about trying to grapple through that. You could grapple through, in this case, it's got the, the thumb or the, where your index finger goes, you could grapple through that, but you don't have to worry about trying to fish it you know, through there. Same with a wrist strap. You could probably you know, hook a grappler, one of the grappling uh, prongs onto the wrist strap or through the buckle or something. You know, there's a way to typically get it, but having that option of the magnet is just so simple. You know, it just it just hangs there. One thing you're probably not going to be able to grapple too well is an arrow. I mean, you 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 could if you got out here in the middle, uh, being four prongs, it's it's possible. Um, there I got with one, but it's going to fall, and you're going to struggle with that. But again, with the magnet, you just find the tip of the arrow, and this can be a broadhead or whatever. I got a field tip in here, and boom! All of a sudden, you're retrieving your arrow, which that's pretty darn slick if you ask me. So you got your arrow back. So that's pretty sweet. Um, now I one stick uh, and, and saddle hunt with multi sticks quite a bit. And one sticking, there is kind of a fear of not safety because you're tied off, but what if I'm 15 feet up and when I reach down, I drop my one stick. You're like, oh no. Um, that's where you know a grappling device like this could really save you from having to rappel down and start the whole process over. Now, most of these are made of aluminum, so you don't have anything really that the magnet would work on except for maybe a bolt. But I will show you like this one stick here, I think weighs around four or five pounds. And that's a little too much. I mean, you can't, you can't depend on this tiny little magnet to lift that. But what you can do is with the grappling hooks, all of them have some sort of platform or some way to get a hold of them and boom, right there, you know, you can pull it right back up to you, throw it back around the tree and uh, keep on climbing without ha ever having to uh, rappel down. So, you know, you're gonna keep this in your pocket, maybe keep it in your, in your backpack and, and your backpack's on your pull-up rope. So you just pull it up, get it out and, and then send it down, you know, pull up your sticks or your platform. If you drop your tree stand platform or, you know, whatever. I mean, it, it's endless, but you can see on something like this and they all have similar features, there's holes and, and, and little spots where 
where you can get you know these uh one of these grappling hooks to to hook in real easily and you know the weight of it you know is no problems all right so let's talk about uh something we probably all have dropped at some point is hat gloves whatever um you know here's a jacket it's a medium weight jacket and you know you're hunting and uh, you go to put it on and something, the butter fingers and, you know, it falls. And you're like, oh, I need it. Uh, you know, so you're going to send down your grappling hook. And, you know, you're going to have to fish around in, in some areas uh, because the points on this grappling hook are not sharp. But as you can see, when you, you fish around a little bit, next thing you know, you've caught a seam, you've caught an edge. Uh, maybe catch an edge of a pocket and you're going to pull it right up. And there was really no effort in that, but you're gonna probably have to uh, play around. Uh, maybe if the tips were sharper, uh, they would bite in, but then you, you run the risk of damaging your garment. Um, if they're sharp, you know, you could poke yourself and you know, get hurt. So, but you know, you saw a couple attempts and next thing you know, I'm picking up uh, my coat. So, you know, pretty awesome little product. I've, I've never had some type of retrieval tool like this. Uh, in my arsenal. Um, I've thought about buying something. I know that there's some others out there. And John just hit me up out of the blue one day and said, hey, I've got a new product and I'm going to show you a picture. And he showed it to me. And, uh, you know, this was it, you know, and I was like, yeah, send it. And I'm very impressed with it. I really am. You know, when you're done with it, you roll that uh, O-ring up, you slide it up, you roll that O-ring back down, wind your cord up and everything, throw it in your pocket. And you're good to go. I mean, uh, I don't know what, what more to say about it. I'm not sure what his uh, pricing is going to be on it. Again, I know this is going to go on sale uh, here the, the last weekend of August. And from there on, you can order it, you know, that weekend on from his website. And uh, if you're at the Mobile Hunter Expo show in Kalamazoo, which I strongly, strongly encourage you to get to if you can, you need to stop by and check these things out. It's a pretty slick product. So, all right, man, with that... As always, deer seasons will be here soon. So God bless, stay safe, and it's a new day in the outdoors.